Hey, it's Miss Cool pulling over, doing a shout out. Um, underneath this tree here, it's a bit cloudy here. Um, because when things kind of lay and rest in my heart, sometimes I need to talk about it. But just to get straight to the point here, if you have tried again with people in your life, more or less like people that are like um, family members, um, and, and tried to work things out with them, and you have this continual like, it's kind of like a puzzle piece, okay? The puzzle piece doesn't fit, okay? And so what happens with this puzzle piece that you're trying to put in your life that you think you need, that you would like to have, or that you would desire or want, so to speak, like maybe people treating you the way that you should be treated or self-respect, you just kind of keep pushing that puzzle piece in this puzzle. Being the puzzle that you... Uh, it just doesn't fit. It, it, and no matter how much you push or jam it in there or um, just, you know, pressing into it and making it try to fit in a place that doesn't actually fit, it's kind of a reckoning that I've had to have with several people that are in my life. Now, I've met a lot of family members, and I don't really know anybody I haven't met that doesn't talk to an uncle, a brother, a cousin, a sibling, or someone. So it's very common and that if it goes on for an extended amount of time, say 25, 40, 50, 60 years, and that puzzle piece still isn't going in, still isn't fitting, something that goes in easy. But then a lot of times you hear things take work. So, but with all that said too, you can work at something as well. So say if you've worked and worked and you don't see any effort or respect, or a change in attitude with how people treat you, you know, a, a sister, a brother, a cousin, a family member. If you're watching this video, you pretty much know who you are, okay? I've taken my part in it as well, but then there comes that reckoning, that day, that light, that epiphany, whatever you want to call it in your soul mind that comes on and you just say to yourself, wow, Am I that puzzle trying to fit a puzzle piece that doesn't belong in there? It, it just doesn't fit no matter what you do. Now, could you cut it and shape it? That's called work to put it in. But if it's not and you find yourself acting different, your temper's aroused, your triggers are up, and all of a sudden your peace is being lost, there's something to say to that. You know, there's no amount of money or, or anything that could uh, cure you know, your peace of mind and, and, and the realization that, you know, it's time to say a peaceful goodbye. You know, I look back over at my life and I've tried really hard with a few people and I've tried so hard with this puzzle piece, pressing and putting it in, thinking that was part of my life, thinking that I needed it because I wanted it. When the puzzle was saying I don't fit in. So my shout out today is that you don't have to keep pressing a puzzle piece into the puzzle of your life that doesn't go or need to be there. And realizing it doesn't, it's good. You know, it's not a loss, it's a gain. It's an awareness. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's good. It's good to love yourself. It's good to, you know, say for example, go to a stranger but not a stranger Say, for example, someone that does your nails and you have a light, very light, not deep, pretty surfacey conversation about something that's personal going on in your life. Now, she has that right to open up and say, hey, you know, I had that happen to me, too. And that person I haven't spoke to quite some time, maybe six years. But there's peace, a realization that that it came to an end, you know, that that, that it was broken and it didn't fit. So, you know, if you have family members, friends, people, it's okay. You just part ways and just wish them the best silently and just move on. And you take care of yourself, okay? It's Miss Cool saying, take care of yourself. If you grew up in a family with mental illness, say, for example, your parents, um, there's different mental illnesses, you know.
There, there's people that are super paranoid. There's people that, you know, overspend, do a little bit of hoarding. I'm one of those. So, you know, I'm kind of like pulling back on hoarding, pulling back on buying too much, pulling back on having some space in my in my home with not too much clutter. And, and, I, and, and there's a freedom about it, okay? So I'm working on that. So I'm not going to go out and buy something to replace it. And I feel like maybe if all of this goes into the right place, well, then I might let a sweet gentleman in my life to hug and caress and kiss me and to be that companion that I could draw in with, with a new awareness of who I am. So until then, it's Miss Cool saying uh, today's uh, little therapy, little love, little realization. But first know that if somebody's bringing out something really ugly in you that you've let go and it resurfaces, that's that puzzle piece that you're trying to put in your life and it pressing it and it won't go in. Take it out, toss it, and move on. It's Miss Cool saying, hey, be the real you. Don't let others bring out that toxic person that you've worked so hard to get rid of. And if it comes back, we're dealing with it again, aren't we? Over and over, we take that test of self-respect. Bye. You can't treat me that way.